It's that time of year once again. Time to see if the Nintendo Switch version of EA's premier soccer series is still a complete mess. The good news is that alongside a name change to EA Sports FC 24, the game formerly known as FIFA has finally moved past the point where its Switch port is simply a copy of the previous year. The bad news is that it is still dreadfully out of date and some modes barely work. The Switch version of FC24's long overdue upgrade to the Frostbite engine is a considerable step up from the previous Legacy engine. Visuals look a bit more detailed and the gameplay feels better than FIFA 23 Legacy Edition. That said, the leap isn't massive, having essentially gone from PS2 era graphics to PS3. The 30 frames per second action feels painfully slow, especially compared to the hypermotion technology used in other versions. With hypermotion, each player has their own unique flow, and you can feel every bit of the individual movement when controlling them. This works well with the new playstyle feature implemented in FC24. You can dribble through the whole field single-handedly with a player like Anthony due to his trickster movement attributes. But without Hypermotion's real-time animations and physics, playstyles on the Switch lack the same realistic feeling and variety between players. On top of that, matches are still home to many of the same poor defensive AI and passing error inputs as always. You can only take so many near corner post goals by opposing teams or incorrect pass directions before you throw your controller down in disgust. Presentation also suffers a lot. There are no fancy overlays or satisfying power shot replays that show the stats of how hard you hit the ball or its shot percentage. FC24 just reuses all the assets from the Xbox One and PS4 era FIFA games for its pre-, live-, and post-game segments. They look awful too, with players phasing through one another, refs dropping the ball midway into the walk-up, and loads of bad close-up animations. Career Modes' new cutscene-based dynamic moments in particular suffer a lot from all the glitches, drop frames, and poor load times. Just take a look at the slideshow presentation that is the start of Manager Mode. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. The entertaining Volta mode might have finally made its way to the Switch as well, but it is an absolute ghost town even just a few days after launch, making it near impossible to actually find a match. Clubs is better, but still times out in matchmaking more often than not. The usual connection issues when playing online are particularly bad in clubs too, as the Switch has a hard time handling multiple users in the same lobby, resulting in matches that lag so much they become unplayable. FC24 does at least deliver some long-awaited and significant changes to Ultimate Team. The Dream Squad Building mode is no longer just a copy of FIFA 17. You can now complete objectives, moments, squad battles, FUT champions, and division rivals modes that have all been available outside the Switch for years. The smart new Evolutions has also made its way to Ultimate Team. As long as they fit a certain criteria, applying an Evo card to a player like Steven Bergwin can bring them from a 79 LW to an 85 Relentless Winger. But even with these improvements, you'll still need to actually play games to earn XP and improve your standing in Ultimate Team. This makes seeing any of these upgrades in action a chore all the same. Even though it's no longer copying and pasting its work from previous years, EA Sports FC 24 is subpar on the Switch. The Frostbite engine is an improvement, but still a Sunday league without the other version's smooth hypermotion animation tech. Its slow gameplay and poor frame rate make new features like playstyles pretty much useless. 
And while Ultimate Team is no longer just the same version from FIFA 17, connection and matchmaking issues mean other modes like Volta and Clubs are almost unplayable at the moment. If you're dying to play soccer on the go, you could likely do worse than EA Sports FC 24 on the Switch. But if you have the option, you'll find a much more enjoyable and modern version on any other platform. Be sure to check out our review of EA Sports FC 24 on other platforms, and for more on the latest sports games, we've got reviews of NBA 2K24 and Madden NFL 24. And for everything else, stick with IGN. <laughs>